you, Mr. President. I'd like to ask um, the Minister for Health and Social Care what plans she has to permit the purchase of Viagra from pharmacists without a prescription. Oh, on the member for the department, <coughs> Mrs. Corlett, to reply. Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, the licence holder for Viagra Connect tablets, Pfizer Consumer Healthcare Limited, recently applied to the Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency to make this one version of the product available as a pharmacy medicine. Pharmacy medicines can be supplied without prescription only from pharmacies or under the supervision of a pharmacist. After taking advice from the Commission on Human Medicines, the Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency decided that this product can be made available as an over-the-counter pharmacy medicine. The decision to change the classification of medicine is made based on a thorough examination of its safety profile and risks associated with that medicine. Under the Ireland's Medicines Act, the Isle of Man follows the recommendations of the MHRA. It should be noted that this approval relates to only one product, which is Viagra Connect. Like many drugs, Viagra is produced in different strengths. Viagra Connect contains 50 milligrams of sildenafil. Following the MHRA decision, it is now legally possible to purchase sildenafil, or the brand name Viagra Connect, from pharmacy outlets with a maximum dose and a pack size of eight tablets. Pharmacy availability of Viagra Connect tablets should only be sold to men who suffer from erectile dysfunction. Patients are required to be assessed for the suitability by a pharmacist, pharmacist and made aware of the risks. Situations where supply is not appropriate and potential interactions with other drugs. The risks of indirect danger arising from misdiagnosis of underlying disease are minimised through the pharmacist using their professional judgement and the checklist to identify men for whom this product is not suitable and referring them to a doctor. It is also considered that there is a low risk of direct danger and of intentional abu abuse that will lead to a danger to human health. For them, furthermore, these low risks are outweighed by the benefit that this route can supply, of supply can bring. By bringing a difficult to reach group into a healthcare environment with the potential to increase early identification of heart disease and also reduce the risks associ associated with the use of counterfeits obtained via the internet. Medicines containing sildenafil will still also be available to obtain on prescription. Supplementary, Dr Allenson. Thank you, Mr President. I'd like to thank the Honourable Member for her firm grasp of the subject. Um, would she agree that whilst increasing use of over-the-counter medication should be encouraged, electrical dysfunction can be a symptom of underlying um, disorder, and therefore it's really important to have an open and honest discussion with healthcare professionals as well, who may be able to un understand the underlying reasons for erectile dysfunction, treat accordingly, and also perhaps prescribe it um, privately in a generic form, which can be a lot cheaper than the Viagra Connect. Yes. Honourable Member. Mr. President, yes, I would agree with Dr. Allenson, and I can understand the concerns with regard to the missed opportunity for diagnosing underlying illness. And having read the MRA report, MR, MHRA report, I would say that this was considered, but in their opinion, outweighed by the fact that men who buy Viagra over the internet and therefore risk counterfeit medicines are unlikely to go to their GP, but may be inclined to go to the pharmacist. And at that point, if the pharmacist asks the right questions, could then suggest seeing a GP. Uh, this is not a perfect solution, um, but we, we must all take some responsibility for our own health. Um, but I would, like, I would welcome the opportunity to speak to Dr Allison further and take any suggestions he has for lowering these risks back to the department for further consideration. Supplementary, Dr Allison. Thank you, Mr President. Um, I, th I think it's very, very clear, and, and the, the Honourable Member accepts that the MHRA decision was in response to more and more people buying um, what they thought was Viagra um, over the internet. Um, and would she agree that this is a pragmatic response to a growing problem, not just for Viagra, but for other medications? And we may see this for, for further medications, um, either legal or illegal drugs being brought onto the island via, via post and, and via the internet. 
President, I couldn't agree more.